So this is my SU-37. Uh, the ailerons, the canards, and the elevator, they all work together for pitch. And the elevator has thrust vectoring. Uh, the ailerons work uh, by themselves for roll. And the rudder is its own little thing, and it has a gyro. So the motor is a 221206, the old kind, and it's got a KF4 airfoil. It's got a 2200 milliamp three cell battery, and this is the maiden flight. Okay, I got it. So this is kind of high alpha-ish. Uh, it'd do it better if it had more gyros. Uh, I want to put a gyro on the pitch, not, not the elevator, just the canards. And then I'll see about the ailerons. So right here the ailerons got stuck up like spoilerons and I don't know why but they were stuck like that so I had to make an emergency landing. So right here, it was just kind of falling straight down. It wasn't going forward at all. It kind of looks like it, but it wasn't. It was just like flat falling. Right here, it was kind of going like nose first a little bit. So I'm going to put a gyro on the canards to maybe help for that. But that's pretty cool. The KF airfoil keeps it from stalling out. It's pretty, it just falls straight down. It's awesome. There it is, dropping again. For the landings, I think I need to flare later. Or, uh, later, I'm flaring too soon, and it's kind of falling out of the sky, and kind of hitting the elevator and stuff. It does that a lot on this landing. So that's it for the SU-37 that day. I'll be flying it more later on. Uh, here's some video footage from my Super Cub dropping a bomb with the onboard cam. You can see the bomb falling right here in slow motion. So that went good. That was with my Super Cub. Uh, here's some more of that footage. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and bye.